This is code.org. Let's see what we're up to. All right. When you read the poem, actually, first, we got to hit run. Let's see what this thing's doing. Ooh, the star. Oh, authors. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what... I really should not be singing. Students don't make fun of me. Up above the world so high like a diamond. Ooh, it's going faster or I'm going slower. All right. So we get the point. Song. Cool. All right. And then let's see what we need. Connect blocks from the toolbar under Win Run to build your program. Find a background and text effect that matches the mood of this poem. Okay, so here's when our run block. So let's do this in order. Find a background. You see, ah. So with code, everything runs in order. If I click on this block and just pull, if I drop it here, it's not going to do a thing. I actually have to attach it. Win run, set the background. Well, now it's yellow. That is ugly. Ooh, ooh, actually, guys. Well, you could do a color. I want a photo or an image. Set the background. Mm. This one's sunny. Well, no, that sky. Oh, that's ugly. Oh, that's also ugly. We'll do a sunny one. Mm, sure. All right. Change the colors. Wait, wait. And the text effect that matches the mood. Text effect. Set text effect. Okay, so again, we have to make sure to attach it. Fade. Mm. Ooh, I like a typewriter. Mm -hmm. ah, that's slow. Ooh, fly from the top, like a star, a shooting star. All right, I'll go with that. Cool. Change the colors of your effects or text and click run. Ooh, I can change the colors of my effect now. Uh, ooh, set text color. Ooh, I'm going to do that. And um, that's kind of hard to see on the background. What if I just... Yeah, pretty cool. Gorgeous. Onward. Do, do, do. Onward. Boom. All right. Read the poem. What sound and images come to mind after you type your answer hit one to watch and listen? Okay, guys, keep in mind, once you hit run, you can't change your text. So, and I'm going to brainstorm ideas here. This is my answer, not yours, right? You have your own ideas. Sing. I want to sing. Okay, what sounds? Oh, um, so uh, like a bird sings, not worrying about who hears or what they think. Like Okay, so this poem I'm going to write in a sentence makes me think of birds chirping or some, let's say, opera singing. And again, this is my answer, not yours. And that's what came to my mind. Uh, what images? Images that come to mind is flight, flying items, comma, um, clouds and trees. Sure, that's my thoughts. And then, right. Ooh, there's a sound. Ooh, a bird. You can't hear, well, you can hear the sound of you playing. I can hear the sound. It's birds. Fancy. Hey, it's a sky. Did I say sky? I guess they left out the opera. Awesome. Onward. All right. Adding sounds and music to your program can change how the program feels when you're reading it. Add a new sound or music block to your code. Oh, okay. So right now we just have win run. Play. Ooh, I'm going to do music. Oh, maybe. what? What's this poem, though? Let's. Toasting marshmallows. Oh, fireside does kind of work. Ooh, no, I want campfire. Okay. Find sounds or music that match the mood. Eh. I am liking it. What? Wait, I lost the marshmallow? Who are these people? Onward. Give me back my marshmallow, please. Oh, no thanks. Boom. Use events to change your animation when poems mention something new. Okay, so an event is something... Sounds scary, it's not. Well, it doesn't sound scary. But it's programming, right? Uh, when you click on a website, that is an on-click event, right? This looks like kid stuff. It's not. An event is something within programming. Uh, when you interact with anything, a click on a website's an event. Uh, when you talk to some audio, I don't want to say the name of uh, someone who starts with an A or an S or OK search engine. When you talk to that and it responds to you, that's an event. A computer interprets what you say and it responds. When you tap on a screen, you click a mouse, you, uh, you move a joystick, all of that's an event. The computer has to interpret something that just occurred. 
Other things that can be events, an item on your screen smacks into a wall, right? Well, something occurred and the computer has to figure it out. All right, so use events to change your animations. All right, find a line in the poem where the mood shifts or something is introduced. Oh, I'm going to turn it green on line two. No, line four, about halfway through because it says green. It also says green here, but leave me alone. Add colors or effects to match the new, uh, new, oh, oh, notice it doesn't do anything, guys? Why? Well, I don't have anything beneath it. So this code runs when we click run, right? This one runs only once we're at line four, and it's going to run at automatically. But add colors and effects. Okay, I want to add or effects. Boom. Notice how it all changed once line four appeared? Cool. Fancy. And that was the event, win line four. Try using a foreground or background effect under, okay. Text fade. That would be in the foreground. Ooh, fly from the right. Set background to. Sure, I'll do background to uh, green. <laughs> Ooh, ah, look at that. Fancy, onward. Oh, read the poem, what image comes to mind? After you type your answer, press run. Okay, so I'm going to answer this. I'm going to brainstorm it with you. My answer is mine. Copying it would be cheating, but let's talk about this. The library is the book of books. Is the book of books, okay. It's concrete and wood and glass covers. Home images. Books. What do I think of with a library? Desks. Uh, big windows. I don't know. Um, a monster. Danger. And library card. Those are what come to mind for me. Probably not the same for you. All right, let's see. Whoa. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, that was great. Onward. Poem. Let's see what we got. Poets use words to paint a picture in the reader's mind. Add sprites. Sprites is a super fancy way to say characters, right? A sprite in uh, a game, if you play, I don't know, one of those fancy like Pokemon games, and your character, that is a sprite, the image of your character. What else is a sprite? The Pokemon in that game are sprites. Sprites are characters within a game. So basically the cartoon image. To go with the images that comes to mind, add a make a new sprite block to your code. Choose a costume for your sprite. Add sprites to go with the images that come to mind when you read the poem. Okay. So as I read the poem, it looks like win new line. Remember the sky that you were born under. Okay. So let's look for our sprites. Here it is. Sprite begins. Sprite stops. Make new. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write up the start of this. I guess I'll make a new sprite. Remember when the sky that you were born under? Sure, I like that. Uh, actually, I'll do a sun. Now, add make a new to your code. Okay, so maybe I'll start with one, but also I'm going to add a cloud. Um, ooh, no, a moon on line three. So keep in mind, guys, when I hit run, this sun will always be there. That happens automatically. Now, when line three happens on the event that line three is read, right? When line three shows, the computer goes, oh, oh, okay, line three. Okay, execute this. So now it will run make the new sprite. Why can't I see it? Well, notice it's not, it's not happening. It's because line three hasn't been read. However, I'm still going to pick where it goes. Okay. Add make a new sprite, choose a costume for your sprite. Connect the make a new sprite block to an event to make a new sprite appear when the new image is introduced in the poem. Perfect, we already did that. We have one to start and one already. Let's see. Perfection, onward. 
What do we got? Sprites can do certain actions. And again, guys, what is a sprite? It's that animation in a game. It's the playable character. If you're playing uh, Mario, uh, Mario would be a sprite. Bowser's a sprite. All of that stuff. So think of a picture. Uh, except characters. Sprites can do certain actions or behaviors over and over while the program runs. Add a sprite begins block to your code. Explore different behaviors. Yeah, so behavior in programming is a, well, it's really a method, but it's an action that can be taken by this specific image. So a behavior is things that are sprite, things that our character imagers can do. All right, let's go ahead and look for one. Sprite begins, and here's a behavior. So it doesn't say behavior on it, unfortunately. Life's a little harder than that. But it does give us an idea of what the of what a behavior might be because a behavior has to be an action. So let me move this over. So after I make the sun, now I'm going to say spin right. Let's see. And let me just test something real quick. What if I... Hey, hey, Mr. Kaiser, why doesn't this work? Well, let me ask you. Why doesn't this work? It's tricky, but it's... Do you know? Do you know? Think about order. It's... What happens first here? If code always runs in order, set font, set text... Spin right, and then we make the sprite. So the computer sees spin right and says, okay, I'll spin right. Except this doesn't exist yet. It has to spin right, and then it says, oh yeah, make sure that's there. So it doesn't see this yet. It might show it to us, but it doesn't actually see it in the code. What if I do this? Boom. That way it runs after. It sees and makes the sprite, then it allows this to happen. It knows what we're talking about if it comes after. Add a sprite begins block to the event. Okay, so now when, right, so run happens, this stuff runs in order, it happens the second we hit run. Now what event, when line blank shows? Rest at the pale evening. Ooh, ooh, rest. Mm, I don't really want it to rest, but <laughs> I kind of want it to... Mm, fluttering? Ooh, I want it to wander. Instead of resting, our sun is restless. So at line 5, I'm going to make mine wander. Oh, keep in mind, guys, I should test this first, right? So right now, they like it just to have one animation at a time. So if I want it to swim or... What happened there? If I want it to wander, which is what I was going for, then I can't have this. So and just to show you what I mean, I'm going to throw this at line 1. Nothing happens. Now line, that's the, that's line one, right? Then we wander. However, if I tell it to spin, it's not gonna start wandering when line one comes. Because it's already doing something. However, let's see what happens now. What if on line one, I ask it to stop spinning? There we are. So if you want two actions like this, if you want to be fancy, make sure to tell it to stop. Yeah, yeah. Onward. All right. You can change the size of a sprite you already made. Change the size of your sprite by using the new set size block. Make sure to choose a size other than 100. All right. So what I want to know what happens thus far. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it sets this up and then the words are going to appear. Got it. So now we can change the size. Oh, here's set size. Now I'm going to throw it up here and it's set to 150. And it's not going to work at all. Why not? Code runs in order, right? I can make the ship, I can change it to the ship too. It won't work. The reason is, if they let us preview this now. However, the computer actually doesn't know this is here, you could say, until the code runs. And when I hit run, code runs in order. So the computer says font, RL. Okay. Set color, brown. Set text to fade. Cool. And so that's great. And now it says, okay, set the ocean or the wave to 150. And then it makes the ocean. We can't ask it to set the size of something that doesn't exist, right? This line technically makes the ocean. So if I were to do this now, see how that ocean got bigger this time? Okay, so you just got to make sure you have it in the order necessary. Right, We have to have the computer make the object before we set the size. They give us a bit of a preview here, but when we hit run, they have to have it in order. All right, so change the size of your sprite by using set size. Make sure to choose a size other than 100. 
And then I'm going to get fancy and say uh, on line three, I'm going to do, mm, let's go ahead. Let's have a huge ship. Boom. Let's see. And so it runs in order, and this will be that size from the beginning. It runs so fast, we... Whoa, that was cool. So keep in mind, when I hit run, it's super fast. It's why we don't see it actually change size. We're talking less than a fraction of a millisecond. However, the computer reads the lines in order. So even in a fraction of a millisecond, maybe it's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a millisecond, when it sees this first, it has to run this first before hitting that. Otherwise, it doesn't know what to change the size. Anyways. Um, work. Do we get to make our own? Do we get to make our own? Yeah! The freedom of a blank page! Illustrate a poem however you like and share it with your friends. Heck yes. Sure. I like this one. Sun. Now when I hit run, I'm going to make a new sprite. Oh, we can't forget. And if you do, go back and check out theirs. They have a lot of stuff. So they often did a text effect, right? So first, well here. I'm going to set the effect to fade, and then I'm going to set the color to yellow. Let's see. Yeah, all right. I'm going to put my color above it, because I like it there. And fly from the right. Let's see. Oh, no, that's good. Okay. Now, I would like also this guy. And, uh, oh, wait, I want a background. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to throw a background. Draw the background and clouds. Perfect. And this is about sun. I'm going to move this guy. Yikes. Whatever. No regrets. Okay. And then, okay, summer sun. Shine warm southern sun. Blow softly here. Okay. I now, since on line three, ooh, I'm going to love this. On line three, so when line three runs, right, when I click around, all of this has to run automatically, instantly. Joop. Once that happens, I'm going to ask the computer, hey, hey, computer, on line three, what do I want? I want a cloud. Where are you? Hello, cloud. Make a new sprite. Cloud. No, not three. That's terrifying. I just need one. I'm just going to make it not totally covering the sun, but I was going to say here. Okay. And I'm going to hit run because it's always good to test this stuff. But I ain't done. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to have it glide to here. And let's say... All right, there's so much I want to do, guys. This is awesome. Uh, glide to there. Yep, that's good. Oh, I'll make this uh, size. Oh, you can't have size above it. You have to have it made first. Size 150. Then I should set the sun size. Make sure it's above it so it knows what we're talking about. Now make sure also you're actually doing your own. Copying mine will be super lame and it'd be cheating. Size. Oh, nope. I have to make it first. Make it first. Ooh, that's a big, big sun. Let's go ahead then. And... That's better. Big sun movement. Oh, I want to set the font. So, play music. Oh, sure. Let's throw in some harps. I'm going crazy here. Eh, I don't want rain, actually. Set the font Ariel. Nah, we're better than this. Cool. We we got a few things happening here. Let's see it run. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at my cloud move. It's still singing. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess I have to. I'll stop. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. And we could go even further crazy, right? We could set an event to, I could go nuts with this, guys. Whoop, line, maybe on line one, I want the sun to change and not have it right at first. Regardless, have fun, make something super awesome. Tell me about it below.